standard commercial bracing is what this is called. I'm gonna put the purlin supports in. So I start from the bottom and just sort of loosely have, get one in, get your washer in. Don't tighten it up. Then just work your way up. I kind of look and it's fairly centered there. Now I don't want to tighten this one off completely until I get this other side in. Now this purlin is a one by two angle. Um, depending on the greenhouse that you get, you can, they're, they come in all sorts of shapes but they all kind of go in the same way. So I don't know if you can tell at the peak there, it looks pretty nicely lined up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I will send it home. Now the last part is a little one inch plate. So that goes at the top of the peak to join them together. And that'll also get three quarter inch bolts, nuts and washers. and it might be a little bit off. You can move them around and just make it fit snug and nice. You're not gonna break anything. It's not the end of the world. Just make it look pretty. So we'll get a post in the gable and then we'll get a uh, uh, horizontal brace that's an inch by two and a half, I believe, or inch by two. And so the way I do it is kind of easier with two people. So I'll set this and I'll have someone sort of hold the brace. Put your bolt through. Set this post first. That will set your height. Get a level on your bracing. and then pin it off. So once I get this horizontal pinned, our post isn't really going anywhere, but we want it joined up top. There's a, a bolt that goes in there and that's a three eighths. So once that's all tightened up, we can pin the base down here. Our foundation isn't big enough for this style. So you'd have to have at least an eight inch foundation or we could put a cleat here and then you'd be all right. So in this purpose, yeah, we just go straight in, make sure it's level two inches away from the back of the base, nice and level this way, which it kind of has to be because we've already bolted it in. Then you just throw your bolts in and yeah, you're done with that one.